in your ski. Uh, if you're going from your house to the launch ramp, and that's maybe a mile or two, I'd say keep it on. If, if, you're, if you're not going terribly far, then go ahead and keep it on. But if you're going to get up onto highway speeds, if, if you're bringing your car up to 50 miles, 45, 50 miles an hour, unfortunately, despite all the designs that they've put into the ski, and I'll, or into the ski cover, I should say, is... You're going to look up here in front, and you're going to see ventilation. You're going to see vents right here, all right? And they're protected, and it's a nice, it's a nice plastic-coated mesh on both sides, and that's to let air circulation through the cover, okay? And that air is going to pass through, and just like a wing on an airplane, you've got high and low air pressure. And it's going to either fill up with air and push it out, or it's going to move over that over that surface incredibly fast. And what happens if you have a tarp? You know, you have this material on your ski for a couple hours of a drive, and it's blowing past, and you're going 70 miles an hour on the highway. Well, it's going to flap, and it's going to flap a lot. Well, that's not a big deal, right? Mm, actually, not so good. Let me show you, and this is the reason why I have. The, I have my RXPX sitting in this position was when this ski came to came to the Watercraft Journal. But let me get the camera. I want to kind of just pan over and I'm going to show you just this section right here. And you're going to see what almost looks like tiger stripes. OK, and that is just the constant flapping of the the actual packing material, the packing plastic whipping over the ski over a long duration here let me let me come up and let me show you let's see if you guys can see what i'm talking about uh, oh there we are all right here we go that's really good striations in the acrylic surface all right there 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 right here okay that's coming up on the camera really well. You, This actually looks worse on camera than it really is. This is very minor. A little bit of rubbing compound, and it'll go right away. I mean, it'll, it'll literally vanish. The, the rest of the ski does not look like this. I, pol I polished out a little bit here, and you can see you can see the ring, you know, the light ring right, right there. Okay. And then, then you can see... All the striations. That acrylic surface has that color molded into the plastic. I mean, into the acrylic. I shouldn't say plastic. Um, so that's, again, it goes back to repairing it. How do you repair this? Um, believe it or not, a good rubbing compound will get that out. That will clear up the surface. That will get the porosity and it'll get a lot of the damage in the surface evened out. But that is why I strongly recommend not towing with your cover on, especially if you're going highway speeds. Um, if you, I mean, I live two blocks from a lawn ramp, so I don't get above 25 miles an hour, maybe. Um, and that's hauling butt. <laughs> don't tell the neighborhood watch. Uh, but... If you're if you gotta go, if you gotta go across town, I'd take the cover off. I really would. Um, it just it whips and it mars the surface. And it and if left untreated, will actually uh, will actually exacerbate a lot of the a, a lot of the imperfections and a lot of the damage to the surface. Again, it's not paint. It's not painted. You don't paint repair it. Um, I, I don't recommend wet sanding it. I don't recommend any of that. Um, but, um, but this is what I used on the rest of the ski where I saw trouble spots that were caused from the tarps on the ski whipping around and, and scratching the surface. This stuff um, takes a little bit of elbow grease. Um, I don't recommend a buffer. I don't recommend an orbital. Uh, but I do recommend just the old-fashioned Armstrong <laughs> Armstrong way. 
but uh, a good one step. You know, it's not a heavy. It's it's really not a heavy cut. It's really not a heavy compound. Um, you don't need anything really abrasive, but it will get uh, a lot of that l the light scratches out, and it works good even on acrylic. So um, if you can find this at a marine store um, or you can find it on Amazon, um, I strongly recommend picking it up. Admittedly, I had an I had a cover on our um, GTI SE 170 last year came with a cover and that cover did have the um the uh link accessory relief on the back which was great because i had it with the i had the cooler on the back i think um and i took the cooler off for the way home and i was driving and i stupidly i not stupid lazy i was lazy i was lazy let's just be honest. I'll admit it. I was super lazy. It was late. I'm like, I'm, I'm just going to leave the cover on there and I'll just do a really good job cleaning it up when I was done, when I get home. I did take the cooler off because the kids wanted the drinks out of the cooler, put the cooler in the car. We split. And we're about an hour from home and it was a long drive. And I look in the mirror and that cover is whipping and it, it like unnaturally whipping on on the ski and i was like oh no oh here we go so when i stopped for gas i went and checked it out and believe it or not the stitching around the zipper in the back and this is a cdu brp cover but i've been driving i was on the highway for three hours driving at 70 miles an hour it had split all the stitching around that seam and tore itself to pieces and it was just threaded and it was a goner. It was a total goner. And I felt really bad because, A, it was my mistake. All right. I was not using the product as per instructed. So it's my fault. I don't blame BRP. I don't blame CDU. I don't blame the government. It's my fault. I screwed up. Because you're not supposed to drive 75 miles an hour across three states with the cover on. You're just not. You're not supposed to. And that, unfortunately, was on me. So I, again, want to want to emphasize that you really shouldn't, unless you're going just across town, you're not going very fast, I really strongly recommend not driving at highway speeds using the cover. Um, just for the sake of you might ruin your cover, which you spend a lot of money for, and you might actually mar the surface of your watercraft. So, but definitely get a cover. If you're not going to keep the ski in your garage every day, definitely get a cover. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Hey guys, thanks for hanging out. This clip was taken from our weekly podcast that we record here every Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to watch the whole video, you can go to the Watercraft Journal's YouTube channel, go to playlists, and then click on live sessions. You're going to see it there. Otherwise, go ahead and leave a like, a comment, and definitely subscribe to the channel. It helps us grow. And again, thanks again for watching our videos, and we hope to see you soon.